Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Okay. All right, awesome. Perfect, great. Well, should we wait for some time? I don't know. We have eight people here. Okay, let's wait just a few minutes. Okay. Can you guys write down one one by one where you're from? about when you're planning to start your studies. Okay, we have from Georgia. <laughs> Great. All right, perfect. Well, I think we can start. <clears throat> um, great. So today, actually, we are going to discuss about, you know, the whole process and how to choose masters, you know, like uh, what kind of program would be suitable and <clears throat> specifically in terms of um, master programs at GBSP Global Business School um, because, you know, like this is the most important point in life of every person uh, to choose, I mean, what to do, where to study, what kind of program specifically, and why do you need that program, right? So in our case, well, we have a lot of options. Uh, depending on your interest, depending on, you know, where you want to be in the next five, let's say 10 years. Um, so you need to choose uh, one of the specific specialization, let's say program, type of the program, etc. So we're gonna discuss about it. And um, okay, let me just share um, my screen. All right.
Okay, I think you can see my screen, right? The presentation. Can you see guys? Okay, strange. Okay. Um, all right, well, so yeah, in our case, you know, we have programs um, and well, actually the programs, I mean, masters, it's gonna be uh, depending on the type of master, it's gonna be in two types. Well, we're gonna discuss about it later on. Um, so in our case, it's gonna be called masters in management with different specializations. Um, well, briefly about GBSP Global Business School, uh, I think you need to know this information as well. GBSP, well, it stands for, um, um, okay, just a second. Okay, now I think you can see. So GBSP stands for Global Business School in Barcelona. And uh, we have uh, at the moment campuses, physical campuses in Barcelona, Spain, Madrid. We have in, um, okay. Okay, awesome, great, perfect. So yeah, um, well, briefly about the, the whole procedure, I mean like GBSP Global and so we have campus, physical camps in uh, Spain, Barcelona, Madrid, we have a Malta and online campus at the moment. And uh, yeah, so depending on the location, I mean, program might be a slightly different and um, so, yeah, depending on, I mean, like, um, uh, difference is gonna be only the type of the program. I mean, at the at the uh, at the end of the program, maybe there are gonna be some changes and so on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come back once again later on. And regarding the, um, yeah, specifically about let's say. Uh, advantages, let's say, of studying uh, specific masters and getting, obtaining the masters at GBSP Global Business School. First of all, education will be 100% in English. Um, as you might know, in most institutions, schools, it might be bilingual. You know, some parts might be in Spanish. Uh, some parts uh, might be in English or maybe fully in Spanish sometimes. And... Um, so yeah, about the multi-campus approach, there are always opportunities of uh, blended study option, which means mixing campuses uh, between online and physical campuses, Barcelona, Madrid, online, uh, Malta, and so on. But of course, depending on what kind of program. Um, and uh, also specifically regarding um, yes, the opportunity of obtaining a state, state accredited diploma degree. Uh, availability of intakes, um, also another part because admission process at GBSP Global Business School is based on rolling process, which means 
you don't really wait for you know a specific time frame uh, or there's no specific deadline to apply for the program. Instead, it's going to be all year round. Uh, if you're not able to apply, let's say for October intake, you still have a chance to start from January intake or maybe from April, let's say. And uh, or maybe you're studying at the moment and you would like to, you know, like plan ahead and start the applications and reserve a seat, let's say, for the program for the next year. It's also possible because, once again, we don't have a specific deadline or uh, time frame. So you need to, you can apply and uh, reserve a seat. Um, and. Well, about programs, at the moment it's available, as you can see, foundation. This is specifically for those who are coming to study bachelors. Um, and of course, we have bachelor's degree, master's, MBAs, uh, summer school programs. It's a quite short course uh, for one, two weeks. It's going to last. And um, yeah, these are the opportunities at the moment available at GBSP. And uh, so about the campuses and study modes, once again. <clears throat> well, we discussed about um, our campuses. So physically, it's available in Spain, Barcelona, Madrid, uh, and also in uh, Malta at the moment, in Birkirkara, and online. Um, OK. Well, so the difference between campus, first of all, you know, in most cases, um, somebody wants to come and study in Barcelona because they have been to Barcelona before, they liked it, and they want to stay for longer, let's say. This is going to be the first reason. And, well, Madrid also, well, actually, these uh, two cities of uh, Spain is, well, obviously, one of the top. Uh, cities in terms of, well, first of all, destination, well, study destination at the moment because of the environment, because of the people, culture, yeah, the language. And um, so due to all these uh, factors, uh, well, this is going to be always perfect place to study. Um, it's always the top. And Malta is actually is a small, tiny island. It's not really famous. Most people don't know about it, but this country is really booming in terms of, you know, like all these technology related fintech and block, uh, 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 let's say blockchain, uh, crypto, and these kind of, uh, you know, fields. Uh, Malta is actually, well, top countries in Europe, one of the top, we can say like this. And also, still the same environment as in Spain, because it's also in a Mediterranean country. Um, and advantages would be, of course, English is the official language. Uh, so you wouldn't have any issue or problem while studying in Malta. And of course, I mean, there are some other <clears throat> uh, specific parts as well of living and studying in Malta. Well, it's quite cheap, actually. Mm, housing, living, and all other expenses in this case as well. Well, online specifically, well, this would be a perfect option, especially for those who have a full-time job and at the same time who are planning to work and study and uh, complete uh, their education at the same time would be the best option. Um, and also online would be super flexible in our case because you don't need to travel to Spain or any other campus. At the same time, you can study and complete your education uh, fully 100% online. Um, of course, I mean, for online students also, all the services, activities are available. Um, uh, of course, it's not a classroom study, but if we're going to have any kind of activity in Barcelona, maybe Madrid or Malta, online students also will be invited. If it's possible, you can always come and join uh, to these activities. And um, we always uh, offer, you know, residential study weeks on campus for online students. 
so they can come and join and uh, attend in these activities on campus. Um, so yeah, these are gonna be uh, about uh, campus differences. And um, yeah, so study options, once again, uh, it's gonna be on campus, online or blended, mixture of both. Well, at the moment, this is available for master programs um, in Madrid, in most cases. Uh, what are those programs? We have Master of Arts in Communication and Future Marketing, Master in Tourism and Hospitality, uh, Management, Business Innovation, and so on. Um, for these programs, uh, whether it's on campus in Barcelona, Madrid, um, it's available blended. I mean, you can combine uh, on campus and online education at the same time. And uh, in terms of masters in, let's say, master of science or master of science in management programs, um, it's possible to uh, study blended option with only online and on campus in Malta at the moment. Well, this is gonna be a great opportunity, especially if you have a full-time job maybe, or maybe a part-time job, or, or if you're busy, if you're not able to travel to physical campus, uh, you can study um, the program, let's say, maybe most of the part online, let's say three, uh, two or three terms um, in case of Master uh, of Science and Management and only one term may be uh, uh, on campus, for example, or vice versa is also possible. Uh, this will be discussed more in detail uh, during the application process. Uh, once you wanna get more information, you can schedule a meetings and so on with the admission team, and you'll be given all the information in this uh, regards more in detail. Um, so online campus, well, briefly about online, once again, it's also quite, um, well, we have actually started online education back uh, starting from 2017, it was actually. So the platform is gonna be also quite, um, you know, like popular, which is Microsoft Suite. All the tools, applications for education will be available in the platform. Uh, at the same time, it's going to be also a um, virtual class. So you're not studying alone, but some other students. Normally, we have you know up to 15, 20 students in online classroom. Um, yeah, so this is how it's going to be in terms of uh, campus differences. Well, about accreditations, rankings, and partners. Well, this is actually the most important part uh, while you're applying or searching for institution, uh, or if you would like to start you know, the next chapter um, in terms of education. Uh, why? Because accreditations um, is going to be actually the milestone and it's gonna be the most important information that you need to know uh, to understand about the standards, I mean, quality of education in that specific institution. Maybe you have heard and you have seen uh, some accreditations, so-called AACSB. Um, it's uh, US-based accreditations. ACBSB maybe, maybe you have heard about AMBA or um, Equus. Let's say, uh, let's say about. Well, there are so many types of accreditations. Um, what does it mean? So these accreditations. Uh, these are organizations, institutions, they come to the university or business school, they check everything, you know, step by step, the whole process, uh, professors, students, uh, what they do, what they study. And then if they think that it, uh, it meets all the standards of this accreditation, then they will award their accreditation. So here in our case, we're still a member for AACSB accreditation and uh, uh, we are accredited uh, for ACBSP. Well, these two accreditations actually one of the top two in the world for any business institution. Um, so if institution has this kind of accreditation means 
well, actually, it's quite top in terms of education, studies, the program, and structure, everything. We can say like this. Uh, rankings also important. There are so many sources. There are so many, you know, information that you can find about rankings. The most popular ones are QS. Maybe you have heard about it. There's a Multrank. There's Forbes. You know, like CEO magazine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so you can rely on these uh, sources while you're looking for information about the program institution. Specifically, we have, um, you know, most of our programs have been ranked by QS as well at the same time. Uh, by Forbes, uh, actually, especially our MBA programs have been ranked by CEO magazine, uh, tier number one, you know, several times in a row. And uh, by Malt ranking and so on, etc. So GBSP is actually a five-star QS ranked star as well, institution as well which means, well, it's specifically by mm, internationalization, number of students uh, who are coming and studying from different countries. And um, in terms of um, diversity, uh, faculty, let's say, um, entrepreneurship and employability and so on. So yeah, well, this means also a lot because uh, these organizations, they just don't award this kind of, uh, you know, like stars and so on. Uh, so, yeah, you can rely on these uh, information while choosing the institution and so on at the same time. And about partners, of course, um, well, we have been having, you know, like uh, different partners, uh, well, in terms of institutions and so on, these accrediting bodies and et cetera. Well, once again, these are accreditations. So, uh, yes, we have also... Uh, you know, the main accreditation, which comes from uh, Malta Further and Higher Education Authority, uh, actually, most of the programs have been accredited, which means those programs have um, level six, level seven uh, EQF qualification at the same time. So what does it mean? It means, uh, you know, any program, especially in Europe, uh, to be a bachelor's degree, it must have a level. So level six is a bachelor's level and level seven is gonna be a master's level at the same time. So this means uh, after completing the program and then once you get a level six and if you travel to some other country, if you want to continue your study with a master's and so on and so uh, et cetera, uh, not only in Spain, but also outside uh, Spain and Europe, uh, when it's going to be done any kind of evaluation, uh, the program is going to be considered as, let's say, a bachelor degree in any part of the world, only because it has a level uh, six qualification. A level seven is for masters. It's the same. Mm, uh, once you are going to apply for, you know, like universities, further education and so on, or maybe you'd like to continue a career in some other countries and so on, in case of evaluation or checking the equivalent of your degree, it's going to be a master's in any part of the world at the same time. So that's why it's important. So programs which are being delivered um, on campus in Barcelona, well, we have accreditation from Minister of Education of Catalonia. Uh, for those in Madrid, it's approved by Comunidad de Madrid at the same time, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, these are important uh, parts in terms of uh, accreditations and so on. Um, okay, here you can see, you know, a specific number, I'm mean, a list of programs which have been accredited by um, QS at the same time, by Forbes and so on. It's also available on our website. Once you have a time, you can just uh, check all this information once again on the website of GBSP Global. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, it's quite, I mean, high, high ranks, especially for master program, master in management, um, finance, and specifically for MBA. Yeah. Okay. Well, partnerships. So we have partnership with different institutions, as I said, universities, com uh, companies, and so on. 
Uh, one of them is Microsoft. Uh, well, it's one of the top partners, uh, and even GBSP is considered to be a Microsoft Showcase School at the same time. What does it mean? It means, well, because of the innovation on all this technology, uh, you know, or programs who are more inclined to technological and tr transformation courses and so on, uh, Microsoft uh, awarded uh, as a showcase school. So everything, all the tools, uh, you know, during your studies, all the applications, uh, anything that you use electronically are going to be provided by Microsoft. Uh, boards are going to be digital, so they're smart classrooms uh, at the same time that you're going to study. Uh, as I mentioned, online education is going to be by Microsoft Suite, also online platform of the company. Um, and also Imagine Academy. Well, if you know, you can be certified by Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, etc. cetera. Um, you have also Chance. Uh, whether you study online, whether on campus, you can also pass Microsoft uh, certificates. I mean, training first uh, for Word, maybe Excel as you wish, and then you will get a certificate of expert or specialist level uh, normally. So, yeah, I mean, during the applications admissions, you'll be informed. We'll be given more details and information on that. Uh, and specifically, well, we have also partnership with United States Sports Academy, which means, well, this this uh, institution has partnership with our master in sports management program at the moment. Um, that means you might get certificate from this institution, United States Sports Academy, by completing specific uh, courses. So it's not a master's degree certificate or it's not some kind of diploma. It's a specific uh, kind of certificate for completing uh, particular courses in the program at the same time. And um, yeah, as you can see, we have partnership with different institutions like UVic, also Northampton University, ZLC, uh, MIT Global, and so on, depending on the program once again. So we have partnership with UVic, which is University of Vic or Central University of Catalonia at the moment. Uh, for our programs, masters in uh, digital banking, internet finance, and masters in uh, operation and supply chain management on our campus in Madrid. In case of uh, obtaining education on campus in Madrid of these two programs, you can get a second degree from this university. Well, first one is going to be from GBSP Global Business School. And the second one is from University of Vic. You don't need to complete any extra courses, uh, no extra period. It's not necessary to pay anything extra, maybe just a small amount for issuing your diploma, which will be paid directly to UVic. Uh, and then you will get a second master's degree in the same field. If you study master in fintech and digital banking, the same field, a master's degree from UVic. If operation and supply chain, it's going to be in the same field uh, from the UVic at the same time. Two degrees. Yeah. So, in terms of ZLC, we have partnership with this institution. Uh, this is for our students who are studying master in operation and supply chain management. Um, so, partnership means, well, this is not a dual degree, but we have a specific, uh, you know, uh, activity, study week that we're going to organize uh, at Zaragoza Logistics Center. As you know, it's one of the biggest logistic hub uh, in the world, in, in, in Southern Europe specifically. Um, well, it's really a big uh, organization. It has their own lab institution. Uh, you know, cargoes, warehouses, it's really a big institution organization. So during this one week, uh, study week, you will go and see the main plaza, the place, location, warehouses, people who work there, uh, managers, you will have, you know, activities with the professors of uh, ZLC Institute 
at the same time, supply chain simulation games. Well, it's going to be a really interactive um, week. And at the end, of course, you will also obtain a um, um, certificate of attendance, which is going to be by, once again, this institution. And you can use in the CVs, resumes, and so on. Um, of course, it's going to be also useful while you're applying for a job in the future at the same time. And um, OK, so specifically about our master programs management, um, so a master in management at GBSP Global, it's a degree uh, which has been, you know, uh, accredited by Ministry of Education of Malta, or it's called MFHEA, um, which means uh, all these degrees have a level seven uh, qualification, uh, which means it's going to have, uh, it's going to be a valid master's degree. Uh, and you can use for any purposes in the future. Uh, well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to open more opportunities uh, if you would like to apply for PhD in the future or if you want to travel to some other countries and so on. Um, well, specifically, you know, in Spain, there are two types of degrees. As an international student, everybody needs to know this information. Um, so one of the degree is called uh, actually professional degree or titulo propio in Spanish it's called. The second one is um, more academic uh, type of degree and it's a uh, titulo oficial. So if you ask me the difference, uh, professional one, as it says, it's more for career growth, for your personal education, personal knowledge, um, for getting you know more information about specific field. Uh, it's a perfect program. Uh, why? Because it's not going to last too long. You don't study more than a year. It's only nine months. And you will get uh, all the knowledge that you need, uh, you know, to use in the future uh, in your position. The second one, academic, is specifically for those who are planning to study PhD maybe in the future or who would like to travel, who would like to go and uh, get into the uh, government jobs or government field or any, any kind of political field and so on, it might be useful academic program. Um, so depending on that, of course, uh, you can choose the best one, which is more suitable for you at the same time. And once again, for traveling purposes to different countries in the future and so on, of course, uh, master in management at GBSP would be suitable in most cases, because it has a level seven, according to EQF. So it's going to be much more better uh, option uh, for traveling and these kind of purposes at the same time. And Master in Management at GBSP has different specializations. As you can see, it's also available on the website. Mm, as you can read here, uh, well, Digital Business and Innovation, Human Resource, and talent development, finance, fintech, blockchain, and so on. So the difference would be only in um, specialization courses. Uh, this program, Master in Management, has core subjects at the same time uh, and specialization courses, which is going to be uh, in the last term of the program you will be taking. Uh, core subjects, uh, it's exactly the same uh, for all the programs, but depending on the specialization that you choose, let's say digital business or human resource, finance, only uh, four or five courses at the end will be different. This is going to be the only difference. And of course, the title uh, 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 in the program would be different at the same time. And the duration, the fees, uh, you know, study mode uh, will be exactly the same for all programs. Um, and um, so these programs are available uh, on campus in Barcelona, Malta, and online at the moment. So you can choose and study on these campuses. So tuition costs are going to start from 6,950 euros. There's going to be administrative enrollment fees and so on. In terms of fees, 
payments, fundings uh, will be discussed uh, each time, you know, like during the admission process applications with admission managers. And um, once again, these all programs have been accredited by uh, MFAGA, which is Malta Further and Higher Education Authority. It has a level seven uh, qualification according to European qualification framework at the same time. Okay, so we have Master of Arts. Uh, Master of Arts programs. Um, yeah, so what is the difference? Master of Arts uh, are actually a program which more focus on soft skills rather than hard skills. Master of Science, uh, whereas it has more you know, subjects and the main focus will be uh, to the hard skills of the student. Um, the difference would be, of course, hard skills means it's more inclined to programs related to, you know, technology, uh, maybe, you know, math uh, or accounting, uh, mostly this kind of courses it's going to include. Arts, uh, it has courses that you need, you know, to use uh, uh, soft skills such as communication, mm, let's say about uh, time management, uh, leadership skills and so on. Uh, it's more about, you know, uh, these skills will be used mostly in the program. And it doesn't really include courses in uh, hard skills like math, finance, uh, technology. It's not gonna include in the program. There are of course some courses, basics and so on. The part, especially in our case, which is being used technologically in the program, in the field, of course, it's gonna include, but it's not really gonna have a lot of information as Master of Science at the same time. And uh, these programs are available on campus in Barcelona, Madrid and online at the moment. Uh, as you can see, they are tourism and hospitality management, communication and future market marketing, fashion and luxury business management and business innovation. Um, yeah, so you're still eligible to apply for uh, April intake as well, uh, October intake as well at the same time. So you can still discuss more in detail. About the tuition fee, as you can see, it's gonna start from 7,750 euros. Uh, but of course, fees and fundings about discounts, it's still gonna be discussed during the admission process. And um, we have uh, these uh, master programs. This is more about our programs on campus in Madrid. Uh, also Master of Science, which is in international business, operation and supply chain management and financial management, digital banking, internet finance. So these programs are also titulo proprio or so-called professional degree. This is for career and job purpose would be perfect the best. Um, it's only available in Madrid. Uh, the fees are going to start from 14,600 euros, uh, as you can see. And yeah, well, in case of on campus, uh, for Master of Science, uh, the schedule is going to be normally in the mornings and afternoons, normally. Uh, in case of Master of Arts, it's going to be usually in the evenings. All right, so about the second degree option we discussed about it was University of Vic. Uh, apart from education, there are so many activities, let's say in internships, uh, industrial visit to companies, obviously it's gonna be organized, uh, job portal, career services, counseling, and so on. Um, uh, also, you know, activities specifically for Alumni, students who graduated and so on, will be also organized. Sports activities at the same time, uh, seasonal activities and so on, they're gonna be available during the studies. Um, so about career services, well, I think you need to know this information. In our case, it's gonna be uh, individual, you know, by career coaching uh, one by one. So it's not like we provide 
I just want information to all students. Uh, but ju just by saying like, you can just apply for the program and proceed. Uh, no, in our case, so we have Career Development Center. You can visit uh, individually and you can get all the information about the companies, uh, internship positions available, maybe full-time opportunities available. And also you will get all the information about specifically how to apply, how to write your resume, uh, which company would be the best for you, depending on your CV and uh, how to negotiate the best salary. You know, all these hints, information also will be shared in this case. Uh, we have also G Accelerator Incubator. Um, it's also going to be, well, interesting. Um, well, G Accelerator is actually is a quite you know big project. It's not for only GBSP or only for students. It's for everyone. So it's actually more in entrepreneurship. This is for. Uh, students who have a business idea, business plan. And this is going to be a great opportunity you can use, you can participate in this uh, incubator. Uh, in case, you know, your business idea is going to be one of the best, uh, you will get, you know, all the help and assistance because this project is supported by, uh, as you can see, uh, government of Catalonia at the same time, Social European Fund and so on. So there are so many <clears throat> people and uh, all this kind of assistance, especially in terms of investment institutions, uh, mentors uh, who are going to be, you know, startup owners, CEOs of the companies and so on. So once you are going to be one of the top in this incubator, you will get support from these people and institutions at the same time to realize your business plan and idea. So there are so many events at GBSP. It's going to be organized by different institutions, organizations, as you can see, career fairs. Uh, we have also partnerships with jobs in Barcelona, jobs in Madrid, and so on. Um, yeah. Okay, so about application process, normally um, it's pre pretty straightforward. It's easy. So it's going to be by just completing online application form. On the website, uh, you'll be provided by admission managers. Uh, so you can click on the link, uh, you know, fill in the form, upload all the necessary documents, and then you will be uh, contacted by admission team uh, within a week, approximately maximum, about the results. And then you can proceed with the uh, next step, reserving a spot. Uh, if you need a visa, you can start the visa application process and so on. So in our case, it doesn't take, you know, months for this uh, process, just a couple of weeks until you start, you know, uh, visa applications if you need a visa or preparing to travel to Spain or Malta or any other campus. It's really fast um, and straightforward. Uh, application paperwork and documents will be provided always by admission managers during the process so you can always feel free to you know contact admission managers schedule meetings it's fine so having this kind of meeting doesn't mean you must apply or you must pay something this is only for yourself to get all the information about the program well admission requirements will be also informed in detail by admission managers <clears throat> Uh, master in management about the fees and fundings, tuition cost. Uh, it's also informed. Uh, we discussed about it previously. So depending on the program, they're different. And yeah. Questions. So we have here uh, two questions from Sarah. What about fashion and luxury business management? Uh, so yeah, we discussed about this program. It's a master of arts. Uh, nine months, you can start from any intake, April, October, uh, January, and so on. Uh, okay, Master in Management has different tuition fee on the website. Is there any kind of mistake? 
Uh, master in management, uh, you know, the difference, the fees are different depending on the campus. If it's gonna be online and in case of Malta, they are cheaper normally. In case of Barcelona, it's gonna be quite expensive in that case. Mm, that's the only difference. At that examination, there, for example, no exam. Well, Calliope about the examinations, uh, depending on the program. So it's if it's going to be Master uh, of Science in Management program or MBAs, normally we don't really have exams. It's going to be based on continuous learning or continuous assessment, which means. Uh, all the activities, studies, assessment will be fully based on classroom activities, your attendance, uh, assignments, quizzes, uh, you know, uh, also podcast presentations, final final project and thesis and so on. So they will not be exam. And uh, if it's kind of a master of arts like fashion or let's say, uh, tourism and so on. In that case, there might be a written exam, but once again, depending on the type of course, there might be exam or might be assignment or activities. Uh, you need to, okay. Ines, for the application of a master's, you need to submit your diploma, but I haven't received mine yet. So in our case, uh, as I informed, it, you don't really need to get your final diploma to apply for the program. You can even start applications, even if you're studying in the last year of the program at the moment, let's say. You just need to submit all the paperwork and transcripts, grades that you have, and approve which states that you are still studying and you are supposed to finish by this or next year, Some, something like that a letter from the school, that would be enough to start the applications and to reserve a spot in the program. Uh, but of course the condition would be you need to submit uh, the final certificate and grades once you receive them after completion. Um, okay, so, okay, can, uh, can I work during my studies? Uh, question by Lisa, yes. It is possible because especially for Master of Arts, it's very flexible because classes are only in the evenings, uh, during the daytime and the mornings, afternoons, you're free. You can combine with um, part-time opportunities. You can combine with internships or any other sports as you like. Master of Science, also possible. It might be a bit challenging maybe, but it's still doable because we have students who are studying and working at the same time, but mostly of course in the evenings would be perfect time uh, for doing part-time or any other activities because classes will be anytime from 9 a.m. until around four or 5 p.m. sometimes. Uh, in the evenings, you'll be free. Um, Sarah, so I wanted to know if it's okay, um, Cambridge B2 level as a certification. Well, Cambridge B2 certificate would be uh, suitable if you're planning to apply for master's in fashion and luxury business management, master in tourism, master in com uh, communication and future marketing, and uh, master in business innovation. In that case, yes. If it's gonna be master of science and management, uh, digital marketing, finance, FinTech, in that case, we need only C1 level from Cambridge English test. Um, okay. Any other questions? In any case, you can always feel free to schedule a meeting with uh, admission team. You know, you can leave all the information on the website of GBSP Global. Uh, nobody's gonna, you know, spam you or scam you. So you will get all the info. We will just contact, try to reach out only. Uh, and you will get all the information about the program. Once again, school procedures, fees and fundings, how to proceed and so on. So it doesn't put any obligation. You don't need to apply. It doesn't put any kind of, you know, like process to continue. You will get the information for yourself and it's going to be easier to compare. Um, 
Calliope, well, you can request information on the website once again uh, of GBSP Global uh, or by contacting your admission manager. So once you uh, leave a question on the website, uh, you will be contacted by one of our admissions team and so you'll be provided all the brochures, all the information that you would like to receive. Uh, if you wish, it can be provided via email as well. Um, yes, about your question, Sarah. Uh, yes, you can still apply for even April next year if you want, because application process is open. If you are planning even to apply for October next year, also possible because admissions are on a rolling basis at GBSB. You can always apply and reserve a seat in the program um you know anytime you prefer uh so i would like to tell you a bit about advantages of reserving a seat earlier uh maybe you know in any institution university there are always changes uh because of you know all this accreditations partnership and so on especially in terms of requirements uh and in terms of cost tuition uh so in case you reserve a seat for example for next year uh, from now, uh, or, um, even if we're going to have some changes in a requirement, any kind of extra result, uh, maybe tests and so on, or maybe the fees are, are going to go up. Yeah, it's it's always going to go up. It's not going to go down. In that case, it doesn't affect you because you are already in in the in the program. You reserve the spot, and that's it. Yeah, there is no change for you, so you will just complete the program and study uh, and you will get your degree uh, this is going to be the advantage uh, and also of course we have always discounts uh, for students who are applying earlier depending on the application process reserving a spot depending on payment methods there's always opportunity of benefiting discount perfect awesome i think yeah that's it right uh we're not having any other questions at the moment so yeah well in that case thank you so much once again for taking your time um once again you can always feel free to leave all the questions or any kind of request on the uh, gbsp global's website um, or by con contacting your admission manager uh, if you have already and you know like schedule meetings as you like, as you wish, and get all the information you wish. Perfect. Well, thank you once again for joining the meeting, and it's appreciated. I wish you a great evening or great day once again, and stay healthy. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye-bye.